but cover your center line. Give him forward pressure through your elbow. This is the most important thing. Okay? Boom. Each time, check your, check your, check your, check your position. Okay? If your shoulder's getting real tired, that's, tell, that's telling you some, that you're not doing this right. Usually, what happens is when you do this uh, and your shoulder's hurting, it's because you're only practicing the front side. Okay? So what happens is I end up leaning like this. See? I'm leaning. That now my shoulder has to do a lot of work to carry the hand, okay? And I get really sore. So you have to make sure that you, when you do this, okay, you wear the, the heavy backpack that sits you back, right? Okay? I wear the heavy backpack. Now I'm sitting solid on my bottom triangle. I've got a strong brick wall, and all I'm doing now is driving my elbow, focusing on my elbow. Third stick, soft as a blade of grass, just making sure that it's in the correct alignment, okay? And he, John should be doing the same thing, all right? Then the other side, I'm going to be in Fuk Sao now, okay? John is in Bong Sao, okay? Now he drops his elbow, and he drills in, and I do the same, see? I attack him, I meet his energy, then come up, yeah. This is... This book style is really important because it, it covers, this is your defending arm. So when you drop, okay, I have to make sure my elbow is not out. My elbow is out, he has an easy, easy chance to come in. Okay? So from here, okay, elbow has to be in. This book style arm, very important, has to be in the middle. Okay? Long style, then drop. Book style, drop. Then, yeah. Okay? So each time, making sure that you check the hand position each time you cycle, okay? Elbows in, I'm, I'm attacking his center, right, through my elbow, right, okay? And that forward energy, see, I, I close this gap. He comes, he comes forward, his, forward tri or his third triangle comes forward, my third triangle goes forward, okay? The power comes from the elbow the, and, and, and uh, driven by the body structure behind the elbow, right? Okay. That forward intent is what stops the slippage, okay, and also stops him from attacking, him coming into my center, okay. So you got to have that. That's very important, okay. You have to constantly fill in that space between our hands with our body. Okay, drop, yeah, okay. So now we do both hands, okay, and we just practice. Okay. What you don't want to practice is side to side. I see a lot of this on YouTube. They go, they just go like this. Okay. Yeah, just cycle, cycle, cycle. But there's no forward intent, right? Okay. Or they go really fast, right? Okay. Right. There's no forward pressure. Okay. Then usually one guy will because there's no forward pressure. Okay. It, this has now become the speed game. Okay. Speed. So now. All I do is, whenever I want, I just go in. I go in, and then I go something really, really fancy, right? Okay? But it's, it's silly, okay? It's silly. Because the, those individuals who practice chi sao that way, uh, they rely on speed and muscle to get through, okay? And, and when you do, any, and any time you practice sensitivity drills or sensitivity, any technique that you train in Wing Chun, the two things you should not rely on is speed and muscle power. Okay? A technique should work regardless of how strong you are or how fast you are. Okay? How do you do that? Is you stop, how do you stop someone who's fast? Okay? Someone who's fast, think of it like a, a wheel, okay? like a bicycle wheel. Right? Okay? Once they get going, Boom, boom, right? The wheel's moving faster and faster and faster. It's hard to stop now, okay? So what do you do? Once the wheel starts to turn, right, you stick a big stick, pop, right through the wheel, okay? Now what happens to the wheel? Pop, it gets stuck. It can't turn anymore, okay? The big stick, that's our body, okay? So whenever I do chi sao, Okay. I jam his big wheel by putting in my body, 
right into, through my elbows, okay, into his triangle, okay? Now, he can't, he can't move fast because I keep jamming his triangle with my body, see? So now if he tries to move fast, okay, try to move faster. See, he can't, okay, because of my body structure. He's trying to move fast, go fast. See, he can't, okay, he can't, there's no way, okay, right? Because I'm constantly drilling in with my body frame, my body structure behind my elbows, okay? So it's constantly, I'm jamming him with a big stick. His wheel ha never gets a chance to turn, okay? So when you're practicing, practice this drilling, drilling. 